is a closed door deposition behind closed door deposition with Hunter Biden yesterday. Uh, he called the GOP led effort a partisan political pursuit based on a false premise fueled by lies. Congressman Andy Biggs from Arizona is here, House Judiciary Oversight and Accountability Committees. Congressman, how are you doing, sir? I'm great. How are you? Thanks for having me. Man, thanks for, for being here. So what I mean, I'm hearing about all these concessions that had to be made in order to get him there and to talk to him. So tell us like the background and, and what's different about his deposition than other depositions you've done. Well, I, I mean, I was a bit frustrated because they tried to limit us on time. So we didn't have. Yeah, I mean, obviously, the scope of the of what we could talk about was somewhat limited because he's under indictment investigation in uh, a lot of areas. So uh, we couldn't get into some of that stuff. But the time, you know, by the time I I get to go, there's eight minutes left in in the entire day, right? And they, you know, and I'm like, well, shoot, uh, <laughs> I've, I've got three I got three hours of my own that I want to talk to him about. But so that was that was really the biggest scope problem we had was time. Um, so I, and I, excuse my ignorance, Congressman, who like agreed to that, and why doesn't he have to just do whatever you guys say? Well, in theory, in my opinion, he does have to do whatever we say. Uh, the the he was in, in my, and and you know so the chairman they kind of make this deal they want to they want to you know be accommodating at the same time. But but I look at it this way, uh, you know what uh, this guy was subpoenaed, he was in contempt. We could have held him in contempt. He could have been prosecuted for contempt. And my question is, at at some point. Why doesn't he have to sit there? And I, I wanted him to sit there and um, uh, until we were done, until we were, until we were. So, until yeah, we were yeah, I, I don't, I, I really don't mean to be rude. I'm just trying to figure out why, why didn't he just like why, why weren't you just like, hey, you're here all day, ma'am? Uh, the chairman control that, and so they, that's kind of where they, they went with it. I don't know what's why they did. Leverage? I don't know the backstory, yeah, but yeah, what's what's Hunter Biden's leverage? in this he's like, yeah. just, he's like a guy under indictment like isn't that it like can i just be like you know what i got like a half an hour <laughs> sorry congress well i think his here's here's his leverage his leverage was okay so you don't come in you hold him in contempt um and uh his leverage is that his dad controls the uh u.s attorney general who can is going to make the decision on whether to prosecute for I contempt or not <laughs> That's that's a big one, I suppose. That's a pretty big leverage <laughs> stick right there. I guess that makes sense. Um, <laughs> all right, so this is an interesting thing I've never heard before. Uh, Hunter Biden, this is the New York Times, uh, discussed his, addi- his history of addiction and a message alluding to his father's presence. He said he was high or drunk when he sent a WhatsApp message claiming his father was sitting beside him as he pressured a business associate. And he, was, he sent it to the wrong recipient, <laughs> which doesn't make any sense, and he's now embarrassed by the message. What, do you believe that, Congressman? No, I don't. I mean, and, and here's why. I mean, if you listen to him yesterday, every time um, so that he he wants to say he can't remember something, it's because he was drunk or high. Um, and then and then he always almost always qualifies it by saying, "Well, you know, it, I can't recall it, but but if something happened, even if he says I'm not saying it didn't happen, it's just I have no recollection because I was drunk or high or I was in uh, it was an addiction." But even if I, even if that did happen, my dad knew nothing about the business. That's that's okay. that's that's that's, that's the, the answer on everything, right? So, yeah, that's good. Um, what did you did any of you any congressman present him with any further proof that dad was involved with the business? Because clearly, dad is the business. Yeah, I mean, yeah, he's. But he says, well, you can't find the bank accounts, and that's what that's what he keeps talking about is. You're not, you know, basically you're not going to see an envelope of cash going to my dad, uh, noted in a bank account some, transaction somewhere, um, and that's that's their their deal. But but all of them were getting these mass. The whole family was getting these massive benefits. They were rolling it through. I view it as, I view their their banking situation as as money laundering because it's going through uh, Rob Walker's account. It's going through Devin Archer's account, and 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 you know his theory of the case is. Hey, if it's if money's going to those guys, it's their money until they give it to me, and and so uh, I never got money from a Chinese uh, uh, criminal organization. Now, what I got was money from Devin Archer, who was receiving money from the Chinese uh, criminal organization. Yeah, of course. What what is the what's your thoughts on the crime? What crime has he committed? 
Uh, which one, Biden, Biden or, or Hunter? Uh, Hunter, Hunter. Oh, uh, he was he was selling access to his father. It's bribery. I mean, that's when you when you look at the federal laws that describe bribery. You know, uh, a family member that's receiving benefits in exchange for access or, or policy. That's cr- that's a crime. What's the difference between bribery, bribery and lobbying? Uh, it, well, if, he, if you're saying he was lobbying, then uh, guess what? He was, uh, he was not a registered lobbyist, so then that's a crime, too. But, but the difference is this. Um, it's, uh, you're, you're passing money under the table. Uh, lobbying is legal. Uh, it's regulated. Uh, and, you've, and you're following those rules. Bribery is something completely different. It's, it's, a, quid, it's a direct quid pro quo. And so we, we know that there's a direct quid pro quo. Um, there's, they've never even contested this on the Ukraine uh, uh, Shulkin firing. Uh, that their, their theory of the case is, well, you know, Shulkin was a bad egg and he wasn't investigating. Well, wait a second. You were hired specifically. Multiple witnesses have testified because you were supposed to try to neuter uh, the internal uh, and external pressures on Burisma. Well, that's a quid pro quo. And because Joe Biden basically himself admitted he did the quid pro quo in the yeah. infamous video where he yeah. says, look, yeah. uh, I wasn't going to give them that billion dollars of uh, foreign aid unless they fired Shulkin. Well, the problem with that is the State Department um, and, and the agencies that, that look at it, they'd already said, well, Shulkin's doing a good job. They're, they're cleaning up the mess. And, the th- and the, what the instructions to Joe Biden was, you go over there you congratulate them on the progress they've made, and you present the foreign aid money. But that isn't what he decided to do uh, just a short while after a du- call from Dubai that Hunter Biden made um, to Washington, D.C., although Hunter Biden doesn't remember who he talked to. Um, but Yes, of course, because drunk or high. Naturally. Yeah. Uh, I know you got to run, sir. Last question. Uh, big picture, uh, are you content with how the ball was moved forward yesterday? I would have liked to have a little bit more time to explore some of these other things. I mean, I have a, I had a whole line of questioning with regard to uh, uh, this this Jason Galanis testimony that we took last week in in Alabama, but uh, didn't get enough time to do it. Uh, but do I think that I, I think it's obvious to me that 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 Hunter's you know he's in the soup and he doesn't he doesn't want to get out of it. <laughs> What's the next step? What's the next thing? Uh, next thing is uh, just to put the report together. There's a few more. Uh, I think there's a few more depositions that we've got coming up uh, next week, and then I think we'll be ready to put together the report and and forward that on to the speaker to see what he wants to do. Uh, beautiful, Congressman Andy Giggs from Arizona. Thanks, you, Congressman. Appreciate Thank it. Thank you much.